Hi friends, Mairead here again. I just wanted to show you two things I picked up today. I was in the pharmacy buying some medicine. So they had a NYX stand and I was looking at a video, I think it was this morning from Janet, simply Janet. I'll put her name and her website URL down below and you can check her out. She's great about makeup. She did a haul there lately, a huge haul, and she had so many things to show. And she gave a review on some of them in yesterday's video. And uh, she mentioned this pencil. It's the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil. Now again, it's a crayon. And the color I got was 703 Pink Nude. Now the one she got herself was a baby pink. And I actually couldn't find the baby pink in the store, so I bought this one instead. Now it is such a pale pink, you probably won't even be able to see it if I swatch it. There's a kind of a glimmer on it. I'm actually going to put some on for you over my, what have I on, MAC Pro Longwear. Mm. And this is kind of what I wanted to do with it. I want to wear it over another lipstick because I think on its own it's just a little bit too nude for me. But I do like it and it was again on Simply Janet's channel that I saw it first. It's the NYX pencil. Now people tell me that you can actually sharpen these. This is plastic right up here up to the lip colour. But I have asked the same question because I have the eye pencil and it's plastic as well and I can't imagine sharpening it but I will give it a go when I get down nearer to base as they say because um, there is no twisty thing or any other way of doing it but it's totally plastic from there up to the top so I hope my sharpener is sharp enough to cut through the plastic. Anyways, that's the NYX pencil. I just wanted to show you that lipstick um, to see what you think of it. I was reading an interesting article on Facebook yesterday, I think it was, or maybe the day before. It was written by a hospice nurse and it was basically about the things that patients regretted before they died. Very, very morbid subject, I know. But I found it interesting, so I said I'd like to share it with you. They had basically five regrets. Um, of things that they wished they had done. I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not a life that others wanted me to live. Sometimes we have to work in a job that maybe we don't like because finances dictate and different things dictate. We can't always do what we like, but it's unusual that the first regret of people coming near their last days on earth, that this is one of them. So it's, it makes for sad reading. And number two, number two was mainly, um, I wish I had spent more time with my family. And this, they said, came mainly from male patients who were always busy and caught up with work and missed a lot of the growing up time of their young family. So that was the second regret. Number three, I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings in a relationship. This was the third one, The people wish they had been more honest with their partners and said how they felt. And again, sad, they're all quite sad, but they're food for thought, make us think when we're alive, I suppose, is when we should really be doing all these things. Number four, now this one is, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. And seemingly many people when their time is near, they do want to reconnect with friends they had, maybe when they were younger, or just friends. And it just shows that it all comes down to love and relationships in the end. The only thing that's important is loving people and your relationship. Number five is an unusual one. It is, I wish I had let myself be happier. 
that most people really didn't realize all their lives that happiness is a choice that you can make. You can choose to be happy or not. And it was too late when they did realize that it was a choice and they regretted the fact that they hadn't let themselves be happier and do the things they wanted to do and say the things they wanted to say. We can sometimes get very caught up in what we think is expected of us and what we think we should do. But these five little reminders, I suppose, of things that people regret the most are a lesson for us all. To make the most of every day that we are here, show our loved ones that we love them, tell them we love them and respect them, keep in touch with our friends and let yourself be happy and do what you want to do in life. If it makes you happy, do what you want because at the end of the day, it's love and relationships that matter most in life. So that was an interesting article just popped up on Facebook and I just said I'd share it with you because I found it interesting and um, hopefully we won't have any regrets when our time comes. Do your best, do your best every day and regret nothing because we are great people. <laughs> we are living our lives to the best of our ability. Now thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!